Okay, well, uh, I'm two thirds through this radio now. I haven't been filming it because, as you can probably hear in the background, I've got the 3D printer going, which uh, is obviously annoying for some people. So, uh, just really going to recap on where I am at the moment with it. It is working. Um, the only the only thing I'm looking at at the moment is the volume. The volume is um, pretty low on it. It's not. Uh, it's okay, but it could be louder. So I've just stripped out the um, volume pot, pulled the tabs off, lifted the back off, I've cleaned the carbon track, given it a squirt of, squirt, squirt, squirt of switch cleaner. Um, you can see I've got new capacitor on the volume pot. All of the capacitors on here have been changed, every single one of them. Um, the three AF117s are gone. They've been changed with the Russian GT322Bs, so we're going Russian with this one. Um, really, the electrolytics weren't that bad actually. Um, there was a couple that that were, well, one one was really high ESR, so that would have definitely been uh, causing an issue in in the set. Um, these brown things are way way out, really way out. So that was affecting the audio really poor audio on it until I've changed those. Now I'm getting good audio. So that's where I am with it. What I just want to do now is just go through the um, resistors on the audio circuit just to see if there's any that has gone high. Other things I've got to do, this um, tuning, tuning gang here is uh, loose. Um, the problem with those is these grommets go really hard? I mean, this is this had it that I mean, it's supposed to be rubber, but I can break that off with my finger now. So, these three grommets have got to be changed, which means taking this front face off. I've already got one off to get to the uh, volume pot, so I've got to take this front piece off. I'm also going to clean this up a bit and give it a spray when while well, the capacitor is out of the way. So you know, all fun and games, but worth doing in the end. So bear with me and uh, join me again, and hopefully, fingers crossed, we'll be nearly there. We'll certainly be done electronically. Just uh, the structural bits and a bit of cleaning then. Okay, well I've had a look through the circuit diagram, and uh, I want to check some of the resistors in and around the volume. This is probably the easiest one to uh, show you. I don't know if you can see that or not, possibly. But yeah, this is a volume control down here. So we've got the output from the volume control, which is, uh, we've got resistor there, R16. So if that one is uh, gone high, that's going to uh, lower the volume. So that's going to be my first uh, checkpoint, R16. Now there is some other um, capac uh, sorry, resistors in this circuit. There's one here, I think that could be the automatic gain or something like that coming off here which is all right so there's a few few uh, ones and I've made a list of them so uh, I'm going to crack on a minute and uh, take those out of circuit just pop it lift the leg on each one and um, give it a test another thing I've got to do is um, replace these three perished I mean they look I mean it's horrible so there's going to have three new grommets in there. Um, difficult to get the right size of those. Uh, I got these from Farnell, I think. But um, I bought a couple other lots that weren't any good before I got the right ones. So worth uh, shopping around for. If you need the part number, let me know. Um, all of these R200s, R300s that have got these rubber mounted ones, these are all perished. And uh, if you don't change them, what happens is the dial cuts a nice uh, line in the faceplate, um, the pointer. So you do need to do these. Um, it's a bit of a pain in the ass because you have got to strip the chassis out to get it out, but it is worth doing. If you're going to do it properly and you're going to keep the radio or you're selling it, then um, as restored, you need to do it. Yuck. So anyway, I'm going to pop the... Um, detail room tool on now which is pretty noisy and uh, join me in a minute I'll see uh, what the results are 
Okay, I've replaced two uh, resistors so far. Um, this one here should be 330 ohms, it's reading 370. And this one was um, 1, 1k out, so 1000 ohms out, gone high. So I think it should have been 8.2, it was 9.1k. So both of those in the volume circuit, one underneath this little plate, uh, which is a later modification actually. I've, I'm trying to rack my brains to find this resistor. I couldn't find it anywhere on the circuit. But in the small print of this service info, it, um, it was an addition in the later sets. So if anyone's got one of these later ones, you've got a little resistor in there. Look. So you can see I've put a, just a carbon film one in there now. A metal film resistor. Um, again, these are in the volume circuit, so it shouldn't should be too critical what type. And the other one I replaced was on the other side of the board here. That was that one that had gone one k over. So that should sort that. I've got a few more to check there though. Okay, well it's time to get this back in the chassis. I've been through all the audio um, section and checked the resistors and I've changed all of these. So we've got two, four, six, seven. I have managed to get the volume up quite a lot. Um, it's It reduces the volume through the audio transformer, which is strange, but... Um, Possibly that is correct because it looks like there's more windings on one side than the other. I don't know, but um, what I'm going to do now is pop it back in the chassis, and uh, then I can have a look at the alignments and we can see if we can peek the IF and um, the RF sections and set the current on the amplifier. Now this is the case that I resprayed or the, the chassis. Um, this was in a pretty rough state. It, it it looked better than it actually was. You know, there's only a little tiny bit of rust on this panel. Looking at it in the back, but when you took it out of the out of the um, case, all these edges were badly rusted. Um, so I decided to take it out and spray it with hammerite, and it has come up to be fair, really good. I'm really pleased with that. So that's my next step is to get this lot put back in the chassis so bear with me because uh, as I say it's not um, it's not that exciting a job really it's just a case of it reassembling I've put new um, grommets here you'll see on the tuning capacitor they're all nicely in there now these crusty old things are all all removed yuck So that's more junk. Bear with me, I'll get that in and um, join me in a minute and we'll start looking at the alignments on it. Okay, well there it is, back in its nice shiny new chassis. Uh, this is just the external aerial hook up there, so that's nothing that goes on the case when it's all assembled. I've just temporarily got the uh, lock nuts, obviously I've got the front plate and uh, power specs to put on. Um, but first of all I want to um, just polish that, get some of the fine scratching on it. It's not looking too bad actually. This one, now I wasn't going to touch this by half because um, there was quite a bit of marking on it and um, I mean, it's still, still a little bit blotchy now but I've actually made that. Basically what I did was um, I got cotton, cotton bud and some hand soap just very gently went over the areas where it's bad. I mean Northern Ireland was virtually uh, blocked out on it before. If you can see that, but uh, you can see it's a little bit of a patch, but it's a, a lot, lot cleaner than it was. <clears throat> I was thinking about giving it a clear coat, but I'm not gonna chance it because uh, I don't wanna get any of this uh, lettering uh, moving at all. Um, I have got a couple, I've got a couple of my own that I'm uh, restoring, so I'll try that with one of mine rather than with a customer's. So let's pop a battery in it. Uh, where are we? Let's get um, 
to apply us for the time being. I think office in the middle. Let's pop a battery in. see uh, if it's still working after all that so let's have a look um, let's go with medium way see if I can find a station in a minute Not there's a lot on medium wave at the moment. Gonna need an alignment. Let's try long wave. is there pretty quiet mind you so that's going to need some um, yeah I need an alignment on that So, as I say, I've got a couple other jobs to do. You can't see where I am again, can you? <laughs> I've got a couple other jobs to do to it. Um, and as I say, it's, um, it's in desperate need of alignment. I think um, it's been twiddled. So, onwards. <laughs> 